Oh my god. Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be going through some questions that you guys submitted on Instagram and answering them to the best of my ability. And you'll kind of realise there's a lot of questions about medicine versus dentistry. So don't worry, we're going to be working out which one's actually better. Obviously dentistry. Okay, we're starting off quite easy with the first question, which is basically where am I from? So before I answer that, why don't you guys write down a description where you think I'm from originally and then we'll see if you get it right. Okay, so I'm actually originally from Egypt, from a little town near Cairo. Not the most interesting town in the world. And I came to the UK when I was quite young, like roughly two, three years old. And yeah, I've been here ever since. So that was nice and easy. Now we get into the first of the medicine v dentistry questions, which is, do you ever kind of wish you did med for the street cred? And um, to be honest, no, not really. I have to admit, I have thought about doing medicine, but that's only because I wanted to do something called maxillofacial surgery, which means that you kind of have to do medicine and dentistry. But if I had to pick one of the two, I'd always pick dentistry over med. And I think that's just because I find dentistry more interesting. It's a lot more practical and hands-on and I feel like it has a bit more freedom than medicine does. So yeah, I don't reject my decision to do dentistry at all. I genuinely do love the course. I really enjoy the career as a whole and if I want to do medicine down the line, I can. So win-win. Okay, and question number three is, is dentistry harder than medicine? Now this is a big controversial topic between dentists and medics. Dentists think that dentistry is way harder, medics think medicine's way harder. I personally think they're about the same or if I had to pick one, I'd probably say medicine's a bit harder to be honest. Shots fired! Shots fired! You have to bear in mind that medicine has a lot more content that has to be covered in terms of actual knowledge base. However, I think that dentistry has a lot more practical application than medicine does in terms of your actual manual dexterity and having to do fillings, etc. So there's a different kind of difficulty. But yeah, I personally think that medicine's a bit harder in my opinion. Uh, I know a few dentists are going to disagree with me, but that's just my opinion. However, that doesn't detract from the fact that dentistry is a very difficult degree and you do need to do a lot of work and you do need to be on top of so many different things at once. So hopefully the dental students don't count me too much. Now question four is, do I have a favorite tooth? And, and surprisingly, yes, I do. I like the lower molars, first molars to be exact. That's because it has five cusps and when you build it up with composite or when you're doing your fillings, it just looks really aesthetic. And to be honest, doing fillings or restorations on lower teeth are just so much easier than upper teeth. I just hate the upper teeth in general. And not gonna lie, lower first molar, low key kind of bad. Just realize it's gonna make it seem like dentists are really weird, which we are. Anyways, least favorite tooth is probably the upper second molars because I think they're really hard to access, especially when you're trying to do things like BPE or any type of diagnostic test. So yeah, shout out to the lower first molars. And then question five is, is the workload heavy in dentistry and and what is the best revision technique? So for me, I do think that the workload is quite high in dentistry, especially the fact that you have to balance a lot of knowledge-based information as well as practical-based information. And there's actually a lot more material science than I expected. So you need to know the interactions between different filling materials, different impression materials, how this changes like the bonding and the stress-strain relationships and all this stuff that I didn't really think I had to know. On top of that, I feel like our schedules can be quite hectic. Even with COVID and online learning, I still feel like the workload is quite high. Having to balance online tutorials and then going in for clinical work and then radiology, oral surgery. There's there's a lot of things that you have to stay on top of. But on the flip side, I also think if you have good organizational skills, the dental degree is manageable, but you would definitely be a bit stretched for time. And with regards to the best revision technique, I'm still trying to work that out myself. What I'm currently trying to look into is stuff like active recall and space repetition. And what I've done is I've made this little timetable on Notion that reminds me to go over topics at certain times. So usually what I'll do is whenever I've covered a new topic, I'll write down the date that I did it. Then I make sure I repeat it one day later, then a week later, a month later, to ensure it just stays in my memory. And so far, I do feel like I'm learning more concepts than earlier years, but the flip side is it is quite tedious and it takes a lot of time. So we'll see if it reflects in my exams this year. I'm going to read the next question off my phone because it's quite long. It is, what do you wish you'd known about studying dentistry before you started studying it? And what do you wish you'd known before studying at KCL? So again, I think this kind of links to the workload and having to manage your time well. I've always had this issue with procrastination and not really doing things on time. And with dentistry, if you miss one assignment, it just all starts to pile up. So I wish before I started first year, I'd really looked into how to manage my time, how to stop procrastinating, how to use, you know, different timetables, revision techniques, etc. On top of that, I wish I'd learned this book off by heart. This is Picard this is basically like the holy grail of dentistry. This book covers so much content about fillings, caries, minimally invasive dentistry. So yeah, I kind of wish that I'd spent more time learning it in my second year. And with regards to studying at King's, I feel like I wish I would have looked into the research aspects of dentistry a bit earlier. Again, when I applied to dentistry, I knew that dental research is important, but especially when you're integrated into King's, you'll realize how important dental research is and how, you know, they're kind of at the forefront of all types of dental research. So I wish I just looked into that further and found out a bit more information as to how I can get involved. But that's fine because I'm making an active effort now to look more into research and stuff like that. So, you know, it's all good. Okay. I knew this next question was coming. Are you only in dentistry for the money? Short answer, no. I think you guys have probably heard this a million times before. There's so many other careers that can determine you better money than dentistry does. I think people have this misconception and think, oh, if you go into dentistry, you're definitely gonna be making millions. Of course, there are gonna be some dentists that make very good money, but I can confidently say most people aren't gonna be making millions when they graduate from dental school. And again, I don't really think you should be doing a degree purely based on the fact that you want to make money because you have to remember with dentistry, it's not like a five, 10 year career. You're gonna be doing this for like 30, 40 years. And even if you're making really good money, if you hate your career, if you hate your job, 
job, you're just not going to enjoy your life. So I generally want to do dentistry. It's something I really do enjoy and I really find very interesting. And the money's a nice thing on the side, not gonna lie. And the next question is, what is the hardest and the easiest thing you've studied in dentistry so far? So with regards to the hardest thing I've studied, I'd probably say histology, but it's not because the actual content is hard. It's just because I really don't like histology. I just find it really boring. Remember when I look at any sort of like histology slide, I'm just like, it all just looks very pink or very red. It's not very clear. And yeah, I've just always really disliked histology and find it a bit harder than the other topics. And with regards to the easiest thing I've studied in dentistry, I'd probably say radiology. I think that's just because of the fact that I had a very good tutor for my radiology and I just really, really enjoyed it. Obviously, it's not the most interesting thing in the world. You're just looking at a bunch of x-rays and images. But I just find it quite easy and I kind of enjoy identifying the different structures. So that's probably the easiest topic I've covered so far. Next question is, if you could live anywhere, where would it be? I'd say I'd probably live in Italy. I really like Italy. I think it's a beautiful country. It has a lot of amazing history, museums, art, etc. And just living in the midst of that would be really, really interesting. And I just think it'd be really fun. And the football's not too bad over there either. So that'd be something good to watch. Next question is, what speciality do you like the most and what speciality do you like the least? So I'd say the speciality I like the most is a tie between maxillofacial surgery or like dental surgery in general and prosthodontics. So maxillofacial surgery deals with really extreme trauma, especially things like lacerations to the face, like broken bones, etc. Quite gory stuff. And prosthodontics is more to do with stuff like dentures, crowns, bridges, more cosmetic work. So those two fields are the ones I'm kind of interested in at the moment, but it's quite early, so I might change my mind in the future. And with regards to the specialty I like the least, I'd probably say periodontology. I don't know why, but I just find it a bit boring to look at the gums and just deal with gum disease, etc. And I wouldn't really want to go into a specialty that I don't enjoy, so that's probably the one that I like the least. And the next question is, if I didn't do dentistry, what would I have done instead? Okay, so this is a good question because I'm not that sure. I think it would be a tie between either medicine or just an economics based degree. Medicine because obviously it's quite similar, healthcare elements etc. And economics only because I really enjoyed economics in secondary school and I think it'd be quite a cool career to go down. But at the same time I know that you know anything in the economics field is a very competitive and high stress environment. So that's something that would kind of deter me as well. So to be honest I probably would just do medicine. I wish I had a more exciting answer but I just don't. And lastly the question of do you think dentists deserve the title of doctor? Oh my god. The amount of times I've been asked this or I've just had people that do medicine you know kind of say oh you guys don't deserve the doctor title. It's a bit crazy. Personally, I don't really care if I have the title of doctor or not. I think it's more of like an ego thing. It's like, oh, it's cool to be called doctor. But with regards to whether or not I think dentists deserve it, I think they do. I believe dentists are masters of our field. The way I kind of think of dentists are masters of oral medicine. And dentistry is kind of a speciality of medicine in itself. And the amount of knowledge and practical skills and development that you need to become a dentist rivals that of a doctor. And for that reason, I do think the dentists deserve the title of doctor. But then again, I don't really care that much. I feel like some dentists get really, really offended by it. They're like, oh no, we really deserve it. Which we do. But you know, it's not that deep. And last thing, the title of doctor isn't just exclusive to medical doctors, because then we can get into this argument about if you're a PhD student, you deserve the title of doctor as well. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you check out the playlist and videos on the screen here somewhere. And also drop a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this content. Thanks for watching.